Today we are going to do something that has never happened on this channel before and it has been requested so many times. Isha, can you rank all of the Atelier games? Today is such a day, I will be ranking all of them from Rorona and all the way up to Atelier Rise of 3, the newest entry. I will show you gameplay, I will tell you what I think about all of them and I'm so excited. Are you guys ready? These are in random order, never mind the order, okay? So, Atelier Sophie 2, that was released last year. I played it a ton, still not done with the story actually. <laughs> I'm at the end of the story, but I enjoyed most of the game. The graphics are improved and it's a modern Atelier game, totally top-notch Atelier game. It could also be an excellent entry point into the entire series if you are new to the series. There is one thing now in hindsight that I didn't like with this game, and that are the auras in battles that all enemies are fond of having. That just breaks my flow. I'm not a fan of the auras. Other than that, I'm loving uh, getting new recipes. I like the town, I like the people, all of the stuff. It's such a cute game, but it is being pushed back by that, <laughs> having auras on enemies. So I am getting, so, no, I'm getting, so I'm having it as an A tier, I think. We will see how it goes further into the video. Maybe I will have them uh, relocated a tiny bit, but that is a good start. Okay, we are off to a good start. Now, the next one, Atelier Shally. It is one of the older games. It is the last one in the Dusk trilogy, which makes sense to some people. There are so many Atelier games. I understand why you're here. I'm just gonna let you know what I think are the good ones. Shally, I have had a wonderful time in it. And once you hit that rhythm in the game, you get addicted. I got addicted with a Shally especially, actually. Uh, so... Mm, it's a good game, but it's not as good as A tier, so for that reason it has to go in B, I think? Never mind, actually it is good, but it's coming after Sophie 2, okay? So we have a system now. It is good. I have a ton of hours in that game, so definitely it's good. This video is sponsored by Lit Me. Especially the Fantasy 3 and the light bars from Lit Me. You can have your home entertainment experience reach a whole new level. It comes with everything that you need and this HDMI hub that I have now connected all of my systems to. So what these light strips does, it is giving off an RGB ambience to the entire room. You simply stick these strips behind your TV and the RGB lights, they are synchronized in real time with what you're playing. I installed this myself. It was not difficult to install. Even Ishaman approved. <laughs> Most TV sizes are supported from 55 inches and all the way up to 90. You control all of the settings through the LitMe app and you can also set it to match audio. And we are so doing this for our next house party. The light bars can be placed wherever you like, also synchronized through the app and we place them behind us so that the entire living room is affected. I have a link down below. This is so good. Highly recommend Lit Me. And you can use my discount code to get a saving on your order. Get your ambience on. <laughs> Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Now I'm loving my living room. Okay, next game is Atelier Sophie. It is somewhat aged by now. I had my fun in the game. I did, actually. I was... that was way back. 2015, I think, I played it a ton. Uh, that is a B tier because it's somewhat aged, but I do enjoy the characters and the characters are also continued in Atelier Sophie 2, but Sophie 2 was just better for obvious reasons. Now, Atelier Raisa. You cannot go wrong with the Raisa series. S tier. Atelier Raisa goes into S tier because it has Everything. It is more modern than most of the games on this list, let's be real. The mechanics are fun, the combat is fluid and fun, the grind is fun. The Rises are the strongest ones. You can absolutely start your entire series dip with Atelier Raisa. Which brings me to Atelier Raisa 3, the newest game. It's so new that I'm not done with it. But it's making the list, I mean, I will be basing this placement on somewhat first impression because I'm not done with it. And I think it goes in the A tier, in the middle between Sophie 2 and Shally, because I slightly like Sophie 2 more, so far, yeah, anyway. Uh, so that is the placement of that. But that is because I'm not done with it. 
kind of have to need to be done with it. Okay, Atelier Lulua. <laughs> sliding straight into the S tier because I just loved Atelier Lulua. I liked the alchemy riddle book that you had to collect stuff. I liked that mechanic. You had to sort of solve riddles in order to get more recipes into your alchemy riddle book. It was an overworld map that you could traverse on. The graphics were so cute. She was likable. She is the daughter of Atelier Rorona, which we will become to later. It's a solid game. So fun. Uh, definitely an S tier. Now Atelier Aisha. Even though this is my favorite character design of them all with the dress and the shoes and the long blonde hair and the little thing that she has in her hair. Very my style. I, I'm loving the design. The game is also funny. She is hilarious. Absolutely a good game. But it is somewhat aged. Somewhat. So I think I will put Atelier Aisha in B and that doesn't make sense. Maybe I will push Atelier Sophie down to C. You are downgraded Sophie, sorry. Uh, Aisha is a B and this makes more sense to me. There you go. Okay, Atelier Eska and Lodge. This is famously the one Atelier game that I haven't played a lot. And by a lot I mean like a lot lot, but um, haven't played it as much as the other ones, let's just say. Maybe there was just something that didn't hook me in. Maybe it is it slightly a bit darker. Maybe there's something there. I like the dude, I like the girl, but for that reason, I'm putting it next to Sophie. Okay, Atelier Risa 2. I think I can say that this is my most played game of the entire video and it is sliding up to S tier because I think it is a perfect Atelier game in every way. I loved the dungeons that you had to use a compass to find certain things in the dungeons in order to progress the dungeon. Love that. I like the combat and I like the world. I feel like this is the adventure that Raisa went on where she was just becoming an adult, doing things on her own. She has left her hometown, uh, she's going to the big city. It's a big adventure, it's a big thing. It's the whole thing. Highly recommend that. That is better than all of the other games so far. <laughs> okay, this is exciting. Now we have Atelier Lydia and Suelle. At one point in time, this was my favorite Atelier game. It was my favorite Atelier game when this was the newest entry to the series. I think we are simply gonna slide it up to A tier in front of all of the other games that are on A tier. Simply that. Uh, loved it, I love it still. This time you have two Atelier girls. You can play either one of them. They are so funny, they are so cute. One of them has a gun and you jump into paintings in this one. I, I just like that concept, okay? Good stuff. Pretty much wanna play that uh, again. Absolutely recommend Lydia as well. Now we have the first game, according to this video, the oldest game of this video, I mean, Atelier Rorona. Ancient game by now, not really. <laughs> it came out like, I don't know, 2010. But it's the oldest in this video, officially. And it is not very good. <laughs> Sorry, something has to go in D tier, okay. Uh, Rorona, I put it in D tier because that is only for the super hardcore people. The people that has played everything else. Then you should play Rorona for uh, some lore and some characters and all of that stuff. But it's not a beginner friendly game at all. It's very hard, it's very restrictive, very linear actually. You have to pass these deadlines and it's just a difficult game. You'll die a lot. I don't recommend it for newcomers anyway. Atelier Furious, I definitely recommend this game much more. Maybe I will have that in B tier because I had my obsessed moments in it. This is the entry in the series where they opened up the world more and had much bigger areas to explore. They were trying to go more open world. And I kind of think it is slightly actually better than Aisha, even though I also enjoyed Aisha, you know. 
but we put it there. Okay, we have two more games of the modern Atelier games because I haven't played all of the older ones as you can see here. Even though they are remaking Atelier Marie coming very soon to the Switch. Hit like and hit subscribe on my channel for that. I will be covering that game. Now we have Atelier Totori which is the second oldest game on this list in this video. And it is slightly better than Rorona, but still difficult, so difficult with deadlines and all the things. It's also very aged. I had my moments, of course I had. <laughs> I had that with all of these games, you know, but it is slightly better than uh, Rorona, but it's still a D tier game compared to the other ones, if you understand what I'm saying. If you have played all of the other games, then you can, you know, play that, those games, I feel like. Now, the last game. And then we will do some overview and see if we are locking in these decisions. Atelier Meruru. It is the game that came after Todori, so it's in the oldest trilogy on this list in this video. And it's the best one of that trilogy, the Arlen trilogy. I think so anyway. So it's actually passing the D tier and passing the C tier and making it at least its way up to B tier and even in front of Ferris and Aisha. That's how much I like Maruru. She has a wonderful design as well, loving the entire style. She's a princess of the kingdom, but she doesn't kind of want to be that. She want to do her own thing, but she is a good main character and that game is actually addicting. Now let's have a summary, shall we? <laughs> At D tier, Totori is better than Rorona, definitely. C tier, we have Sophie, uh, slightly better than Eska and Logi, but that is only because I haven't played Eska and Logi that much. Now in B tier, we have Maruru and then followed by Ferris, followed then again by Aisha. I'm very happy with these placements so far. Now let's look at the A tier. We have Lydia and Suelle, followed by Sophie 2, Atelier Raisa 3 and Charlie. Yeah, 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 I'm kind of happy with this. Uh, I did enjoy Lydia and Suelle more than I enjoyed Sophie 2, even though technically Sophie 2 is a better game because it's newer. But newer doesn't really always mean more enjoyment, at least I'm just being honest in this video. Now, S tier, the games that I enjoyed the most. We have in third place Atelier Lulua, then we have Atelier Raisa, the first one in the trilogy. Loved it. And uh, we have a winner, Atelier Raisa 2. Such a game. Uh, I have reviews on this channel with most of these games, going more deeply into every single game, you know. Yeah, I have a review of all of these except for the Arlen trilogy. But that was my tier list. What do you think? What is your favorite? Are you looking forward to Atelier Marie, the remake that's coming? Uh, hit like on my video. And if this video does good, I will do a tier list of the Zelda series, the Mario series, and the story of Seasons slash Harvest Moon, old Harvest Moon series. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on my Discord and on Disc Disc, the podcast. <laughs>